Don't underestimate the beetle. They can be some of the toughest little guys around. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Want to know what's on this beetle's diet? Sweat and tears, that's what. That's how it gets stronger. I think we can all learn something from that. Best flavor in the world? The sweet, sweet taste of victory. And that's why I've never spent a single more on any of my snacks. I've won them all fair and square. <laughs> that's right. Don't underestimate the beetle. They can be some of the toughest little guys around. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Want to know what's on this beetle's diet? Sweat and tears, that's what. That's how it gets stronger. I think we can all learn something from that. Beetle loves his... his beetles. What's up, guys? Welcome to another Genshin Impact video. Today, we're going to be doing the... I'm going to take a break, actually, and... Take part in this event, the Almighty Arataki Great and Glorious Dromala Festival. Received a letter of most formal invitation from the Arataki Gang. It seems that Ito is inviting his friends to some kind of festive outing, so why not open up? Open it up. Open up. Haha, <laughs> what's up, compadre? Have you missed me since we last met at the chasm? I mean, wait, last met at the chasm? Ah, uh, okay, I guess that's the reason why we need to finish the chasm stuff to for this to make sense. I mean, you've been on my mind, if that's what you're wondering. In fact, you're the first person I thought of when I came up with this idea. To celebrate Shinobu's successful graduation, and, you know, show off the almighty awesomeness of the Arataki gang, I've decided to book a grand venue in Ritu, Rito, to organize a festival. <clears throat> We're calling it the Almighty Arataki Great and Glorious Drum Along Festival. That's that's a mouthful. Uh, shorten it a little bit, buddy. How's that? Quaking with excitement already, I'll bet. I can guarantee that this festival will be as massive as the Eridori Festival and more meaningful than Lantern Night. Jeez. All right. Uh, he's way over his head. Once it's over, the gang's name will spread far and wide all across Inazuma. Just Inazuma? Why can't his influence spread out to other regions like Mondstadt or Liyue? That's why I thought of you, buddy. I'd love for you to join in on the fun. We can go nuts, sing songs, do some beetle fights, grill some lavender melons. Grilled lavender melons? I don't know how that tastes, actually. How about it? Excited? Oh, I bet you are, so hurry down to Rito. I'll wait for you there. Uh, wait, Shinobu, I don't think we need that line about lavender melons. It just doesn't sound cool enough. Hey, I said we didn't need it. And we don't need this line either. Oh, come on! Nice. It's apparently not a, uh... Main quest, um inclusive event this is an event that you could just do oh brother he still had to get someone else to write his invitations for him <laughs> this guy's beyond hope still the almighty arataki great and glorious drum along festival does sound pretty exciting do you think they'll have lots of tasty snacks Ooh, why don't we go to rito and check it out uh yeah let's do that <laughs> We'll come back to this. Inazuma, right? Mm. 
right in Rito. It said Rito. Oh gosh. I hope is everyone is having a great Wednesday so far. Enjoyed your Tuesday. If you're not, well, there's today. You can always have a better day today than yesterday. It was a little half-assed what I said, but I meant it. <clears throat> I meant it fully. Huh? Uh, Hymax looks everywhere, but there doesn't seem to be a festival going on anywhere near here. The atmosphere isn't festive at all. Is it some kind of private? Maybe they'll know something. It's probably a private uh, kind of. Oh. Private session. Oh, do you need a hand with anything? Uh, isn't there supposed to be a festival soon? What? A, a festival? I haven't heard anything about a festival coming up. Uh, could you be more specific? What festival are you talking about exactly? It's the Almighty Arataki. Almighty Arataki. Uh, the, uh, um, Almighty Arataki Great and Glorious Drumalong or it's something. It's the Almighty Arataki Great and Glorious Drumalong Festival, organized by the Arataki Gang. Uh oh Ah, uh, yes. The same Arataki Gang who made a scene at the Iridori <laughs> Festival. So you're here for the unauthorized, unprofessional, and unofficial event, huh? Yeah, I gotcha. No need to keep rehashing the name. I think I know what this is about. Let me bring you up to speed. Okay. So we saw the members of the Arataki gang here a few days ago, and they were busy at work leaving piles of hideous things all over the place. Hideous things? Their leader claimed to be hosting a grand event big enough to rival the Iridori Festival. I think that must be the one you're talking and about. And then what did you guys do to buy it? I asked them a couple of questions, and it quickly became clear that they uh -oh. had no permit to host the event, no proof of venue hire, and, surprise, surprise, no record of having registered the event with the police station. Huh. Pfft, if that isn't the definition of an unauthorized, unprofessional, and unofficial festival, I don't know what is. According to the rules, we had to force them to shut down the event. What? You shut it down? Let Paimon guess. Then you arrested them. Hmm? We're loitering? No, actually. Seeing that they had no prior experience organizing events and they'd at least gone to the trouble of preparing a safety plan, <sighs> we just gave them a warning. A warning? Safety plan? Huh. That's pretty responsible. Anyway, if you're looking for the Arataki game, you could try going to Amakane Island. Oh, uh, great. Which is a venue designated by the Yashiro Commission for use in all kinds of festivals, big and small. It was established to try and encourage community cultural events. The application process is much simpler there and less expensive too. Why do I feel like I've we heard told of the this voice about that? If they still want to host their event, that's going to be their best option. Uh, this whole thing is starting to sound like a non-starter. But since we've come this far, we might as well go and take a look at Amakani Island, right? Sure. This unofficial <laughs> festival. I guess we'll go there by foot. Can we go there by foot? Um, we can, but it's gonna take us a long time. Let's uh, let's just teleport here. All right. Uh, before we go, we're gonna go and talk to her. Yes, I need more. I'll right, go buy some. Nice. Oh! The Iridori Festival. I don't remember that one. I think I was there for the festival.
my. As we were. Freaking treasure hoarders, they're everywhere. It's just a pain in the butt. What gives, man? Be a Yashiro Commission representative here. Let's go and ask him. This guy. How can I help? Uh, we're looking for the Arataki gang. Ah, oh, yes. You must be here for the Almighty Arataki, whatchamacallit, festival, too. Yeah, you're not. You don't sound happy that it's a festival at all. Yep. Madam Kujo Sara of the Tenryo Commission and Yoimiya of Nagonohara Fireworks have both been here so far. Wait, Yoimiya what's noticed her getting the here? venue ready when she was here to deliver some fireworks. I guess she got curious and went to go check it out. As to what Madam Kujo Sara was here for, I'm not quite sure. Probably to stop oh, his evil schemes. So other people got here before us? Oh, that's a good sign. <laughs> so, where's the Arataki gang now? Right. Unfortunately, since there's no space available at any official venues at the, the moment, thick glow. we had to allocate them to a tiny beach at the northwest part of the island. God dang it. If only they'd applied earlier, we could have given them a better location. Head northwest. You'll see them. What was the point of coming here then? Oh, hey. There they are. Who else is here? Oh, yeah, the whole gang is here. Man of the hour. <laughs> hey there, compadres. You finally made it. I was just wondering when you'd be showing up. Next thing I know, boom, there you are. <laughs> oh, boy, am I happy to see you. What up, dude? Look at this venue. What do you think? Is this a prime location or what? Uh, well, it's got a good view, actually. We're talking about drums. Uh, this is a great, this is a great place to set the mood. <sighs> it's surrounded by sea. The air is as fresh as it gets. There's no noise pollution from the city, and the views are simply spectacular. Yep. <sighs> The venue is situated against the backdrop of Amakane Island, where you can enjoy exclusive access to the festival and culture center's first-rate equipment. With excellent transport links by sea and land, getting where you need to be is highly convenient, whether you're traveling by foot or by boat. You guys are eternal optimists. <laughs> the moment I set eyes on this venue, I knew this, this was is the, the venue? one. It was the moment that changed the world. Give it up for the boss! Clearly you're only here because the Tenryo Commission sent you away. <laughs> Way to be the wet blanket, Paimon Jesus. Uh, <clears throat> all right, uh, let's get down to business. I invited you all here to attend the almighty Arataki Great and Glorious Drumalong Festival. A highly important festival, I might add. Yeah, huh. boss said the first goal of the festival is to promote the Arataki gang and recruit new members. Okay. Secondly, it's to celebrate Shinobu's graduation. Graduation. And last but not she least, it makes up for all the previous team building events that were canceled due to insufficient funding. Three festivals in one? Wow. Okay, Akira, so are uh, we, um... we can leave that last point out from now on. Uh, where is the lady? Where is your boss? The thing with festivals is you got to get out there and promote them far and wide if you want to get a good crowd. So, uh, Shinobu's handing out flyers. I've still yet to see Shinobu. 
I should have gone and done the, um, the chasm first. Hey, this would make a lot more sense. She's supposed to be the star of the show, isn't she? How come she's out there working her butt off while you're hanging around here doing nothing? Hey, I'm hard at work, too. I I'm, I I'm, I'm entertaining guests. Boss actually just got back. Mm -mm. He said he was expecting you to arrive any second, so he came back specially to welcome you. Okay. Until then, he was out there with Shinobu, working hard to bring more people to the festival. Are we talking uh, favorite people? Just, ah, just doing my duty. Nothing more, nothing less. Wow, this bull checker actually did some serious work for once. Whoa. Huh. Paimon's pleasantly surprised. Paimon, language. She just said bull chucker. What the hell? <laughs> Trust a puny little flying lavender melon to stoop <laughs> to the level of childish name calling. Anyway, so, compadre, you got any questions about this festival? Um. Yeah, where are the people? Uh, yeah, Kujo Sara came by. Ah. Oh. You mean that stupid Tengu? Yeah, I hesitated, but uh, I sent her an invitation. Okay. I cannot believe how ungrateful she is. Get this, she came all the way out here just to put up a bulletin board and write a load of baloney on it claiming that visitors need to be cautioned. She even warned us not to change it. It's blatant bullying of the gang, that's what it is. <laughs> One day, I'm gonna defeat that Tengu fair and square in broad daylight in the middle of the street. She'll get what's coming to her. Anyway, so, compadre, you got any questions about this festival? Um, I heard my lady Yomiya came up. The owner of Naganohara Fireworks? Yes. Chatting with her is a real blast. <laughs> <clears throat> she only found out about our festival because she happened to be delivering some fireworks to Amakane Island. She really liked what we were trying to do here and came to pass on her best wishes. She even said she'll provide some fireworks for us next time. Wait, why not this time? Looks like the Arataki gang should make sure to keep good ties with Naganohara fireworks in the future. Okay. Anyway, so, compadre, you got any questions about this festival? Uh, yeah, um, we seem to be the only people here. <laughs> a ton of totally awesome stuff! See that hill over there? That's Sing Along Hill. Stand at the top, look out over the sea, and sing your heart out! I don't like the way you said that. And this bonfire? It's perfect for roasting lavender melons. The regular kind, or the ones of the annoying little floating variety. Oh, I'll go for the second. And these boxes! Plenty of space whether you want to play Genius Invocation TCG or a Battle Some Beetles. Oh, there's Beetle Battles. Okay, cool. Wow, you really pulled out all the stops. But of course, the highlight of this festival is the drum along. Here, feast your eyes on this. Oh, wow. Just between you and me, this little treasure was sourced through a top secret channel. They said it's a prized hand drum that once belonged to a renowned Onmyoji, and it's worth eight million mora. Ugh. Thanks to my shopping good looks, and the fact that the vendor and I kind of had a, uh, connection. Her words, not mine. She gave me a generous discount, and only asked for 800,000 mora. Wow, okay, what did you do to her? <laughs> she went from eight million to 800,000, yeah. just like that? <laughs> Uh, sounds like a sounds scam. suspiciously like a scam to Paimon. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Oldest trick in the book, right? Which is why it didn't work on me. Um, so you paid a whole eight mil. I spotted the damage on the edge right away. Practically screamed, defective product alert! <laughs> Ooh, we have a connection. Give me a break. <laughs> so I haggled hard and took her down to 80 Gs. <laughs> Practically a steal. Damn. He's smart. Yeah. Specifically, daylight robbery. <laughs> Still, it's pretty impressive that you could actually afford something worth 80,000 mora. Good for you, bull chucker. 80,000 mora. Ito wouldn't be the kind of guy to spend 80,000 mora. Probably 
chalked up the treasury through Shinobu or something. It's only 80,000 Mora. What do you take me for? Wait, 80,000? You said 800,000. I put in 20 grand. Me too. Okay. Huh? Boss, how come I had to pay 30 grand? Uh oh. 20 grand plus 20 grand plus. That's only 70. 30 grand. You only. <laughs> You might want to check your mathematics there. I paid my share, you know. I paid the last ten grand. Uh, All right, good chat, but uh, we should wrap things up. It's getting late. I should go rendezvous with Shinobu. Ouch. <laughs> Way to burn your own clan baits. Jesus. The festival's just getting started. We need to keep plugging it to get a bigger crowd. Take care of the hand drum, all right? Oh, and if you want to try out the drum along at any point, Genta's your guy. Laters, compadre. See ya. Hey, Eli. Welcome to the stream, man. Come along with Genta, huh? How you doing this morning? I'm Genta, the Arataki Drum Along Festival by. Welcome Ambassador. Are you ready for your Drum Along performance? Absolutely. Oh, I, I almost forgot. For There's something that Boss forgot to mention to you about this hand drum. Okay. Since none of us really know if it's in tune or not, please test it out first. Okay. That way, it'll sound better when you deliver your final performance. Cool. Go on, give it a try. Okay. Press the controller button according to the drum beat on an accented note. Adjust the decision line until it roughly collides with the note position you enter. Okay. Perfect, right there. Good, I'm not supposed to be up right now. Uh-oh. Um. You got school, right? Wait, no, wait. Did you graduate? You graduated this year, right? What the hell? It was Hina standing that was original in front of the Yai Publishing House. Goodness, my knows why it's here. <laughs> it's obvious. It's because of Goro. I gotta be at school to lift in three and a half hours, then I got wrestling practice. Dude, you need your you need your sleep, man. Unless you took a nap, that's 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 good enough. well, that's not I wouldn't say good enough, but like you need at least six to seven hours for a good sleep for the day. Uh you're really cutting it really cutting it close. You're not gonna be able to perform very well. But good luck to you, buddy. Whoa. <laughs> oh, you know we gotta go and do this one first. Just the volume. Enable calibration, calibration value, change falling speed. Okay, so left, down, right, square, X, and circle. All right. Okay. I think this is good. Oh, we gotta go to the top. Hit! <laughs> 
I'm gonna join on Twitch. Follow my lead. Okay. Okay, so where am I supposed to sing this thing? Bulletin board. Bulletin board put up on ten by the Tenryu Commission, similar to the ones in the city. Uh, Kujasara's message. Caution, a group of itinerant youths who call themselves the Arataki Gang are hosting an event of unknown purpose. Hey, welcome back. Appreciate you guys for, for coming by. Oh my goodness, there's nine viewers. I expect so many people to come by. Uh, please exercise caution, stay safe, and keep your personal belongings with you at all times. Please report any illegal activity to the Tenryu Commission immediately. Okay. Caution, right? Uh, you're me this message. I was surprised to find someone hosting a festival tucked away in a little corner. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, buddy. Hold on. Go back to the message. Freaking autoplay for me. I was surprised to find someone posting a festival tucked away in a little corner of this island, especially a new festival that I'd never heard of. The view here is amazing. Although it's not the liveliest of festivals, it's magical in its own way. Go, go, Arataki gang. Let me know in advance next time and I'll get you some fireworks free of charge. Nice. Aratani. Uh, when I first heard that someone wanted to rent Miss Hina's advertising board, I refused. But the offer was very generous, so I thought I'd at least pay a visit to the site first. The moment I arrived at the venue, I was deeply touched, even with such a tight budget and a miserable venue. Miserable? This is the greatest part of the, uh, the island. Organizers still managed to reserve enough budget for Miss Hina. Surely this is true love? I signed the rental contract immediately. <laughs> okay, so, um, Akira. Hello? I'm Akira, the Arataki Drum Along Festival Feedback Ambassador. So, uh, can you give us some feedback? Well, I haven't even tried yet. Got it. I'll say it's pretty good. Thank you for your feedback. Hmm? You have other questions? But I don't really have anything else to say. Uh, the boss said my only job was to say two things. Can you give us some feedback and thank you for your feedback? Usually it would be Mihoya that would be sending us... Uh, what do you say? Um, questionnaires? Or something like that? In the email? Or in the mail? And if the guests ask when they will receive a response to their feedback, I'm supposed to say, We'll get back to you as soon as possible. Okay. He said that's what people do in other events he's been to. I'm sure he's basing this on a wealth of experience. But then Shinobu told me that's too insincere. So she gave me this notebook. Hmm. But look here. I've made a note of your feedback, and I'll show it to Shinobu when she gets back. I've still yet to see this lady. Um, Genta, you need to get me to freaking sing something. Right? I'm Genta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are yeah, you yeah. ready for your drum along? Yes. Uh, it's show time. Let's Let do this. The drum Let's do this. I love my rhythm games. Like difficulty. We'll go with normal first. Let's see what uh, we're into. When a note falls on the decision line, strict decision line to score points. A long note is received. Oh God, long notes. Okay. Oh Jesus. Breathe. Oh God. Oh my god. Whoa, that's fast. What the shit? Yo, yo, ease me into this. Okay, okay. Holy crap. Okay, so, so the buttons here are left on the D-pad, down on the D-pad, right on the D-pad. Square, X, and circle. Um, pause. Let's retry. Holy crap! 
You gotta ease me into this. Get me a slow one. For a beginner. Jesus. This is normal difficulty? I can just imagine what it'd be like if it was a... Uh... Pro. Oh god. That's not bad. I got nine. I got a combo of nine. Oh my god. Oh no no. <laughs> Damn it. I failed. I failed so many times. I had 61 perfect with also Perform again. Completion rate 74.13%. 18 failed. Highest combo was 35 score. Let's try again. Not bad. Not bad. 16 combo. That's way better than last time. I failed so many times. Hey, we got a 3 star. Should we do 100%? We should try 100%. It's a normal level, so...
Then it speeds up again. Bad. Ninety four point sixty eight. That's that's good enough, I guess. I only had like two fails, I think. Claim. Oh god, I can just imagine what it would be like on hard difficulty. Oh, pro difficulty. Jesus. All right, let's do this. Okay, here we go. Holy crap. Not bad. And it speeds up. Frick. do better uh highest combo 23 failed let's try again i think i can do better Damn it, I failed. I think that was a lot better than last time. Failed 16 though. Let's try to get to 90%. I'm a perfectionist. Sort of.
good. Not bad. Eighty-eight. Come on, we gotta get it to ninety uh, percent. Really, really cock that up. I think I'm getting wiser to how this, the flow goes. Eh, I think it's all the same. 15. I did worse than last time. Try again. One more time. Damn it. That's much better. There we go. Seven fail. That's good. That's good enough. That's good enough. Alright, jeez. Freaking pro? Can we do it? God.
Damn it. Oh my god! <laughs> what was that? Ah, uh, I got a two star. Hold on. Well, I did it. It gives me... the stuff. Even I, if I completed it for the first time. It doesn't give me more rewards if I completed it with a certain percentage or 100% percentage alright alright let's try something else let's try Ito's song what's this one? Oh, I like this song what is this Halo? really funky I like that song that song was pretty fun look at that only it failed four times on the first performance that was actually pretty good that was a like I like that song that song was pretty good It blends quite a few of the songs that I'm familiar with. Um, a I heard a little bit of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure in there. I also heard Persona 5 um, songs in there. 
a little bit. And Cowboy Bebop. <laughs> Let's try again. It was actually pretty fun. I like that song. Let's try again. Damn it! Ah, oh, man. I thought it was over. <laughs> I had to scratch my face. <sighs> Shit. Let's try again. So, the thing about it is, right? You gotta know which buttons to press for this, this song. And you just stare at the center. Try again. I really screwed up. I really cocked it up. Let's try again. Not bad. I think I failed like five or six times. Eight. I failed eight times. Alright, we did the song on that difficulty. We'll try we'll try it on pro difficulty.
Ah, shites. Not bad. I got a 41 combo. That's good enough. I got a two star. It's not bad. Killed like 30 times. Let's try again. Jesus, they, they freaking put a whole string with the bottom right square and X. Up. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not think I'm gonna be able to 100%. Because I'm in a hurry right now, actually, to get into the other songs. What's uh, Kazuo's song like? I wonder. Is it slower? Pretty epic. That's not bad at all. I only failed like probably seven times. Four! I only failed four times on that. Nice. And you just gotta to get into the rhythm of the song and see which buttons you gotta, you gotta press. For that, it was only four, four buttons.
Damn. Wow. Hey, Doska. Wow, I would never. I haven't even started the event. Oh, I'm so sorry for spoiling it for you, but I'm having a good time. Um, I have to say, though, Sinumiko has, uh, has, um, has prepared me for this. I've played a lot of her, uh, a lot of the games with that Sinumiko Diva X. bad. Um, I think I might have screwed up a few times. There. Six. I'm so close. So close. I just only failed five times. Ah, <sighs> that should be good enough, though. Now nah, let's do it on pro. Oh god, I'm gonna get slayed. I'm gonna get slayed. So close! So close! But that wasn't so bad. I just- you just feel like you- you just gotta get into the rhythm. Um, when it hits those notes in the background. That- I just don't like this- this view at all. It doesn't- your character doesn't actually beat to the rhythm. It's just standing there, just hitting the drum. Like, trying to sing monotonously, but- you're playing the drum just like that though, in that same, same way. Oh, I can't wait till I get to Klee! Oh, I wanna get that. Unlocks in one day. Oh, that's gonna be a fun song. That's gonna be a fun song again, I think. Should we try to should we try to um three star everything? Yeah. 
yeah, it does get it does get a lot more difficult as you go with each different song. Yeah, I can't wait for this one. All right, well, that was fun. Sorry. Oh God, I'm on. Can I? Oh jeez, it actually hurts. Fire actually hurts. Follow my lead. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> Fire actually hurts. Um. Nice. Uh, successfully complete Dire Cliff Court on default. Animosity in a perilous trail event. I can't even do that because I'm stuck with the this event here. Or oh, Frank, where is it? Not event, but quest, actually. A chasm splunkers. But um. Hmm, should I continue with the with the event or not the event the quest we can go back into the chasm and try to do some of the quests let's go with this one go to the chasm all right underground mm -hmm. wow okay i want to go to this spot i want to go to this spot this spot looks nice Yeah, so I have a thing about rhythm games. Oh, I just got a notification. About 27 minutes ago, Rock Rap has followed. Appreciate the follow on Twitch. Thank you so much. Um, we grow every day. Both my channels grow every day because of your help and your contribution to, uh, to the number. Grows. We're at a uh, two hundred and five, two hundred six thousand. No, it's a thousand. Where did I get that number from? Two hundred and six um, Fry. subscribers on YouTube so far. Nothing to fear. Solidify. Let's roll. You know, um, um, which I think it's. Um, I just want to let you guys know uh, ahead of time when Ito's banner comes, uh, when Ito comes around, when Ito's rerun banner comes around, we're gonna be pulling for him. We saved up about 18,000 Prima gems plus the 12 fates, 12 additional fate, uh, fates. Fates for the character event, character banners. So we're gonna be pulling for those. Uh, for those who pulled on Ito but did not pull on his weapon banner, that also comes back. So, hooray for Ito Havers. Phew, thank you for saving my life, says Klitofo. Former treasure hoarder. Wait a moment, I remember you. You're that to. Clefo guy from back at the mine. The mine? Um, what? No, that wasn't... I don't sell any fake medicines. I'm Kotofu, yes, but... Not the one that's into pharmaceuticals. No, sir. Huh, so the med medicines you sold were fake? Look at you in that fedora. What? No, impossible. The medicines that sell are 100% the real deal. I mean, you saw the miners. They drank it and they felt great. And did you say you were the non-pharmaceutical? Pharmaceutical Kotofo. And, uh, right, that was after my life selling medicines ended. And it all ended when that. when that. Tocliffo? Tocliffo sold fakes under a false identity. He sold fake medicines under a false name and ruined my reputation. That's right. That's why I swore off selling medicines forever. And just as I was changing tax, I was captured by that band of treasure hoarders. But yes, that charlatan is truly despicable. Yep, he's a real piece of work to want to trick those in the same business as him like that. And so, what was the false name of this? Tocliffo again? Clitofo. You're Clitofo. Uh, no wait, Clitofo isn't a fake name, it's a real one. Oh, doesn't that make Tocliffo a fake name? Wait, yes, 
Yes, he took my name falsely, so Kotofa is now a false name. We're clear now, right? No, I'm totally confused. <laughs> uh, so Toklipo became a real name. What a shame. <laughs> What's a shame? You could nearly confess without us having to try too hard. Let's take him back up. The Melolith have a lot of questions for him, most likely. Or we could deal with him right here, right now. What? Hey, this isn't the time for such jokes. Paimon thinks it's pretty funny. But you're not laughing. And no, this isn't funny at all. You're right, actually. First, we're about to get serious. Wait a minute. This isn't the, mo this isn't the time for an interrogation. I don't know about you, but carrying a treasure for her you scared half to death around doesn't appeal to me one bit. Either way, let's take him back to the camp first. Hey, 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 take me along, would you? I'll be very useful to you. I mean, as you can see, uh, I've been ostracized by the treasure wars. So now I'm an upstanding citizen again, you know? Uh, it doesn't happen just like that, buddy. Oh, so that's what counts for upstanding citizen to you, huh? And what are your skills again? I can make explosives? You don't look like a... You don't look like a pyrotechnic savant. Not fake medicine? No, no, he said explosives. And your explosives aren't fake either. Oh, ex well, fake explosives? That'll be like, like, dummy grenades or something? They make those in the military, right? Just to, uh, teach the, the young recruits, the new recruits, how to throw a grenade. You wouldn't technically throw a live grenade at a tutorial or instruction um instruction lesson a uh, lesson answer no they're for real this time okay i'm not at liberty to include you on a team as for how we should deal with you jimu would be a better judge of that but i guess she'll just send you over to the melolith but we'll keep an eye on you all treasure hoarders are not to be trusted, let alone someone who sells fake medicine. Oh, come on, I don't do that anymore. Oh, we know, we know. Let's go, shall we? Put him in handcuffs. Throw him in a cell. Throw him back in a cell. Fucking mistake. Ever since the array was broken, many secret smuggling returns were also unsealed. More smuggling rings. Service to get rid of them. Okay, cool. Dope. Um, how do we get that? I want that. Um. Ooh, look, there's a note. Treasure hoarder letter. This Klotofo fellow is not to be trusted. He let the group that went up to steal food to rot, and he let all the weasel thieves go free. We've locked them up, awaiting Ergi's judgment. By the way, there was an earthquake previously, and some people came down here afterward. Everyone should be on high alert. Okay. Faster? Okay, faster. Ooh, treasure chest. <laughs> Another test subject. Have a little taste. Get out of here. <laughs> bye bye, sucker. I'm surprised. Um, they didn't ragdoll like last time. Last time, what? How are you still alive? All right, dude. What the frick? Subject. Okay, um, let's do this. Let's do this quick. Everyone on me! No more words. boy! Uh, order guys. Kill them off quick. Life goes on. Because he <sighs> is an asshole. I hate those thunder Batui guys. Stabilize, roast, and fry. Who wants some of this? Let's roll. You need a hurry up. 
To the victor, the spoils. Spoils? Spoils. I best I cocked that up. I really cocked that up. <laughs> to the victor, the spoils. I, I wanted to... St my, my mouth wanted to say spoils. <laughs> I guess it'll be spoils from now on. What is this? It's ominous. Oh, I got a portal. Oh look, another chest. <sighs> Alright. Wait, hold on. I want another one of those. Aha! Got him. Can't catch me. <laughs> this is order. Go. Why would you? Order guide you. Attaboy! Oh, coming through! Winter. You need to hurry up! I'm gonna need charge. What do you say? Press the advantage. You need a hurry up. Let's roll. I'm gonna need like a hydro character for these guys. These snipers. Life goes on. You need a hurry up. I'm so short. I'm so short his uh, shots go over my head. You're a horrible shot, buddy. You need to hurry up. Stabilize. Fall in. This was well done. It's showtime. You need to hurry up. Wait, what did he say? Feels good. Is that a sadist? Or masochist? That's all it took? Just to kill Hello, someone and get some money. precious? Goodbye, to open up a precious a chest? I figured it would be puzzles. Yeah, I figured there would be more puzzles. Treasure hoarders from the miners camp. Let's roll. That tingle only coming through. Can't catch me. Atta boy. Ooh, giant cannon. Montanator. Well, this is what the miners call it. Investigate. The locking mechanism hasn't rested away yet. In fact, it looks like it's been lubricated. Looks like someone maintained it even after the mine was sealed. 
The breach also looks whole. It's just that the safe key is currently locked down. Uh, what is he talking about? The tunnels ahead were sealed using large rocks when the miners were dispersed. Looks like that's what we're going to need to use this... Uh, looks like that's where we're going to need to use this cannon again. But without any shot, cannons, no matter how large, are useless. As such, we need to find ourselves some. Or make our own. Hmm, let's say like I didn't know that, Mr. Know-It-All. There's a storeroom nearby that should contain a cannon shot. With any luck, not all of it was moved away when the miners were dismissed. Let's head that way then. Come on! I want to shoot this thing! I wonder what they use to, like, transport these... These big cannons. Maybe... Maybe, um... What do you say? Cranes? Cranes? They, they use cranes. And I'm guessing to open this door, we need to solve some kind of puzzle. Yep. Where's the key? Where's the place? Ugh, the gate's locked. No shit, buddy. Looks like we'll need to use two keys at once to open the door. Come on, why are you leeway people so conscientious about the silliest things? Oh, cut the useless chatter. See that notice pa pasted next to the gate? If nothing else, that tells us that our cannonballs can be found within. Well, that's one thing, but how do we know if the fuses have been well preserved or not? I wouldn't get our hopes up just yet. Oh, great. We have an optimist over here. Cut it with the quitter talk, would you? Seriously, what am I doing listening to a treasure hoarder doubt us left and right? Uh, either way, we need to get this gate open first. Exactly. Don't you two fight, alright? Alright, let's continue. Maybe Jinwoo knows how to open this gate. We'll be pretty busy after it opens, too. We'll have to activate a signaling device to get the breach open. Jinwoo said that there should be an observation point for the demolitions team that overlooks the cannon, and that we'll be able to adjust the signals from there, which will let us unlock the cannon from a safe distance. Okay. Unlock the cannon from a safe distance. I don't have the keys. Chasm blasting team notice. Please take note. This is a note. Note it very well. This is a note. The chasm has been closed indefinitely. All blasting tools have been sealed within the storehouse. If you do not procure both the two necessary keys simultaneously, this gate will not open. Fuses and cannonballs have been placed separately to prevent any accidents from occurring. Makes sense. Okay. So, what do we do? Oh, jeez. Uh, I think we gotta talk to Jinwu. Right? Uh, righty. Uh, we're gonna have to walk across, either walk across or make our way up somehow. Make our way up this way. I mean, we're here. Might as well. Hold on a second. Oh, crap. Of course. It's a trap. This is order. Gather. Who wants some of this? Atta boy. Make quick work of her. Shall we eventually come? Yeah, um, so for those who are curious, my Ito is somewhat bad. Doesn't have all legendary artifacts yet. I have 229 crit damage, 41.7 crit rate. I think that will change <laughs> if I, uh, get a good, um, a good cup with the uh, geo damage 
Hello, free money. Goodbye, working for a living. And then my weapon is rank one, maxed out. Constellation one, um, from his release banner. I'm trying to go for C2 or C3 uh, Ito on his rerun. Fall in! Get out of here. Oh my god. <laughs> he got spread eagle. Have a little taste. Solidify. Order guide you. Certainly also, the when I was mind. pulling for Ito on his uh, release banner, I uh, I got a C13 uh, uh, Koro. I maxed him out really easily and really quickly. While I was pulling, I think I lost 50-50 to D Luke twice. So now D Luke, D Luke is now C3. Get him for three more, three more times. I'll have him C six. Oh crap! Fell through. Come on, John Lee. <coughs> Climb, buddy. You can do it. I believe in you so much. It's a really thin wood to walk on. Really be careful. There we go. Oh crap. I don't think this is here. Whee. Head to investigate the center of the first anomaly. Physical damage against those slimes, the geo slimes. This is the place. Take a few pictures if you would. Do I need a picture? Okay. Boom. How's that? Uh, this looks like that dark thingamajig that we saw earlier. Uh, have you seen this before? That's right. And. Wait, we've seen this before? Yeah, that's right. And Juma told us to warn you to be careful, too. And did you listen? <laughs> no. You already played the drums? I hope I didn't miss it. You already did. Um, it was a really short... Oh, God. Oh, God. Run away. Faster? Okay, faster. I'm gonna go read the, <laughs> read the comments. So, Jay, welcome to the stream. Yeah, you missed it. Uh, I played it within the first 30 minutes, maybe, of the stream. Our first hour of the stream. Um, C2 or C3? Dang, I'm gonna give you my Ito since I'm not gonna pull for him because I want to get other characters for Abyss. Wait, didn't you sell your account, Jay? Did you get another account? They said, I can't read as quickly. 
Oh, I should really um, save up for for John Lee when he comes back out. I want to get him to see too. What's this? Uh, what's this constellation, by the way? Yeah, just no constellations on John. Lee. It's kind of it's kind of worthless, useless. On um, co-op. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I said that to mess with Steph, and because people wanted me to keep helping them because I'm Steph Smart. Ah. Whoa! Who was that? Who was that? Did you see that? No, I didn't. I was reading comments. Advance! Let's roll! Life goes on. Beat your fudgy jelly ass! Freaking Rocky Road. Back here, you punk. Let's roll. Who was that? From the looks of the attire, it looked like Cookie or something. Whoa, what the hell? Oh, it's the serpent. I'm not gonna be able to do much against this guy. I struggled with the wolf. I'm gonna need hydro characters for this. <sighs> this guy is ground and steel. And I think the fighting, uh, physical would work. Physical would work. Um, I think ice would work. Uh,. Maybe water? Because he's ground. Ground and steel, I think. So we're, we're trying to classify it like it was it's some kind of Pokemon. <laughs> um he did. Uh where is Hydro? That's strong enough. The only strong, strong, the only good, le like level ninety character, um, hydro character we have is Barbara. Um, what can I use for this? Ooh, can I use for this? We can try electricity, but I'm not entirely sure how well that's going to work. They're not all fully built yet. So, hydro characters. I have Child, Zingchu, Tokomi, um, Mona, and Barbara. Oh, Mona would probably be a good one. This is how it must be. Yeah, I think we got we got a good yeah yeah, let's switch. No? Nope. This is perfect. Let's beat this guy up, shall we? Can you do co-op? If so, I don't mind helping. The only just refresh. Sure, yeah, yeah, I think I think um Wait, where do we where do we check that? Go up. Uh,
Um. Show joinable only. Friends, right? There you are. I can't. I can't send you an invite. Oh, there you are. Nice. So you're going with, uh, with air. You already heard it, John Lee, so we're gonna go with... Silly churl, Billy uh, churl, silly Billy Hilly churl. All right, hold on. Ooh. I'm bringing um, Chi Chi for some eels. All Best right, flavor in the world? The sweet, sweet taste of victory. And that's why I've never spent a single more on any of my snacks. I've Ooh, won them all, seconds. fair and square. Whoa! <laughs> that's right. Boy, can't catch me. There's a lot of damage. Man, who wants some of this? Come out here, you coward. Atta boy, time to go. This is order. Can't catch me. Okay, don't want to be there. <laughs> Bam! Yeah, he's got some resistance. <laughs> the light I try to use the light it didn't work let's roll Go. I will have order boy hey I wasn't ready oh coming through nice yeah, my, the potential, it says, the potential of the Lumen Soul has yet to be unlocked, so I'm not going to be able to use the light, whatever, whatever that is. Runic Fang. A Fang? That looks nothing like a Fang. Nice. <laughs> You dealt the killing blow, I think. One client, two clients, three clients. Alright. The boss summons three crystals to deal. Oh. I wasn't paying attention. I was just going in there. Hitting the ever living crap out of that that snake Steelix thing. And yeah, I'm referring to it like it's some kind of uh like Pokemon. Where's the chest? I saw a chest over here somewhere. But the stone you have that uses the light, stops him, but you're strong enough to skip that part. Who's this? Arian. Sure. Who's this person? Well, 
welcome. Money, goodbye, oh, working for a living. Asshole. Atta boy! Boom. Out of here. Look at Spider. I wonder if, uh, if Michael jumped because of that, that spider. Pretty sure he did. <laughs> Catch me. We know how much he doesn't like his uh his spiders. Archon jump. Yep. Can't catch me. Super jump. I like to call it the plumber jump. The plumber vertical. <laughs> Super plumber vertical. <laughs> Hello, free money. Goodbye. Working. Ow. That hurt. So what's over here? Hey, we went the whole way around. We opened up the map, I think. Sort of. Kind of. Um, where? Where is the, uh, the waypoint? It should be like some kind of teleport crystal. Or, yeah, I think the teleport crystal that lights up this area here. How many, how many more days do we got left on this? 25 days. Yeah, so, uh, Jay, uh, with our stream yesterday, it, I was able to fix, it, um, I was able to come back to my original, um, overlay, stream overlay, and, uh, it's, it's back to normal now. Everything, including audio, is, um, is fixed. Stabilize. Let's roll. Life goes on. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I had to heal up my Ito. Fire, fire, fire. Let's roll! This 
This is order. Stabilize. Nice. Your uh, your pillar does two thousand damage. It's insane, dude. I got more of these clockworks. Get my tang. I will have Ito quicker in his uh with his ult. Did they buff him? I feel like they buffed him somehow. Actually looking for a nerf. I was hoping for a nerf. I mean like not because I don't like him, but because he's overpowered. <laughs> So, there's no way to open up this area. There's no... There's no waypoint? Energy recharge for Ito. Um... 145.3%. Which is not... Which is... I don't think... I don't think that's even good. It's decent, but it's not good. Oh, I'm on a roll. Ah, here we go. No, never mind. It's okay. I got a broadsword. So it'll help to uh, mine these pieces. I'm just so used to um, using um, Zhang Li to farm crystals and stuff. But we're good now. Ito don't really need ER, so it's fine. People only work on it for his geo damage. That's true. They gotta buff him. It's uh, he scales up uh, defense. Also, it's kind of it's kind of expensive too, me. if you think about it. Cause if you want to build a build up around Ito, you need you need the you need Zhongli, you need Guru, and um, what's his name, Albedo, to make him to boost him. Can't catch me. Extra damage. If anything, you always got support characters to worry about that ER for you, that's true. Um, like the Raiden Shogun.
Really? I just needed to touch him a little bit. Hello, to free get him money. To Goodbye, working for a living. Float an extra meter into his resting place. So is this is this half of the uh, the map going to be permanently dark? Oh, we did our job. So now we gotta go back. job here is complete. We just need to, uh, where do we need to go? We need to go back to the camp, I think. Stay safe while you use heavy machinery. Do not use any heavy machinery to move the lumen spar discovered in the depths of the chasm. Depths? Um, can I continue with this? Ah, here we go. This way. Can't catch me. I'm gonna go talk to Jinwu. I got distracted because I got ADD, ADHD, ACDC. <laughs> what the hell? Who are these people? It's all thanks to you. Please take this. Ah, oh, come on. There's no need to be so polite. I mean, Kida is the one forking out the Mora. Oh, wait. This. We be quiet, lest that stingy scholar from some mirror hears us. Shall we go back and look for Jinwu? We can probably probe her experience mind concerning some of the questions we had on the way. You know something? Jinwu doesn't like talking about this, but just like how you're famous for your exploits on Dragon Spine, she was also quite the famous figure down at the mines. I heard that she helped to guide the Millilith search parties and that they saved a lot of people together. Still, those things are in the past now. Shan't mention them too much unless she gets mad again. Hey, good morning, Xander. Welcome to the stream, man. How you how you doing? Just uh waking up to a cup of coffee. All right, I won't keep you any longer. Nice. Hey, we did it. We did the thing. Then so we gotta go talk to her. Ah, you're back. Hmm, Katofa, what are you doing here? Uh, well... You know this guy, Jinwu? Yes, he used to sell fake medicines above... <laughs> he go around ever saying this real man's meds nonsense, only for the workers to buy it and find that it was just Valberry jam. Well, not that it was harmful, it was cheap and pretty tasty. It was chilled in ice, too, so it was, all things considered, a b way better deal than drinks purchased from a long way off in the city. So, you're falling in with the treasure hoarders in the meantime, haven't you? Um, you could say that. Kind of. How did you know that he... You've got a lot to learn, kiddo. I didn't spend 20 odd years of my life down in these months for nothing, you know. 20 years? You look young, lady. You can wash the... You can wash the suit off your face, but you can't change the color of your hands there. You can't change the color of your hands are dyed. What? Oh. Alright then, tell me what can you do. We don't feed idlers around here. Um... He claims that he can make explosives. Well now, guess that alchemy you learned has finally been put to some use, huh? Well, we do need a demolitions team at the moment. Wait, didn't we get in touch with a demolitions expert from Mondstadt? Why do we need to count on him? <laughs> We're talking about Klee here. Oh, you mean her? 
So, Mooney received an apology letter just this morning saying that the kid had blown the stove right off his restaurant called Good Hunter and got grounded as a result. Aw, <laughs> oh, Klee. Even her guardian, I guess? This guy called the cavalry captain, I think? Either way, he got grounded too and he was supposed to come with her. Cavalry? Oh! Uh, <laughs> freaking, uh, what's his name? Kaya. Asshole. <laughs> I'm not sure what this is. Maybe it's some kind of code for people in Mondstadt? Either way, she's not coming. Um, who might that be? Yeah, Kotofo here might actually be the sacred choice. <laughs> so even you think so, huh? Well, I guess it's your lucky day, Kotofo. Come on, Zichong. Kotofo here is from Mondstadt, so he's not too far off from the mark of what we're looking for. Feel served. Thank you, Jinlu. Thanks so much. So, I guess I count as a member of the team now. Once you proved your worth. Well, I've got no faith in this fellow. The demolitions team is a key appointment. Lives will be at stake, and we're giving this to a treasure hoarder? Oh, quit your yammering, you. I've known this kid way longer than you have. He's not a bad person. Never had the courage to, anyway. Just give him some time. So, other than meeting some new friends, were you here for anything else? Well, the path to the lower levels have been sealed off by stone, so we're going to use the Mountainator to clear that path. The Mountainator. What are you laughing about? The Mountainator, they called it. <laughs> Stop kidding. <laughs> hey, come on. What the hell? Oh, that's Jay. What the shit? <laughs> I was wondering what... Uh, what's his name? Zhang Li was doing down here in the caverns. Sorry, I, I mean, call me old-fashioned, but in the engineering department, we all call this the safe blasting mechanism 2156. Nah, I like the Mountainator better. That's way too much to uh, roll off your tongue. But I suppose Mountainator works too. It's a cute nickname, no doubt. If you want to use that cannon, ugh, it's a shame I wasn't part of the demolition crew. And I need to take care of the camp over here. Still, I think that you should be able to find a manual nearby. Ah, right. I also believe that the keys to the facility should also have been written hidden separately in two different water filtration devices. Let me mark them out on the map, on the map for you. The map? Wait, what? Isn't that the same thing as hiding your house keys under the doormat? What kind of security measure is that? Well, you say that, but the chasm is never a place that was never a place that ordinary, ordinary people could access, even if people with other intentions entered. It's not entirely likely that they could immediately think to find the two keys in such obvious places. Am I right, my treasure hoarder friend? Uh, well, Erge wasn't able to find the storehouse keys, that's for sure. What? That idiot doesn't count. But anyway, I need to continue working on these maps. So I leave Quitofo to you guys. You're not worried about him? Just keep a close watch on him. Who knows who's got some poisonous plan against us. Even if Jimu trusts him, I won't let my guard down. Can't be at ease until he's in the hands of the Melolith. Keep an eye on this guy. Don't even give him a chance to try anything. Alright, now that you know that... Uh, alright, now that you know where the storehouse keys are, don't disturb me any further, alright? By the way, Traveler, you must have seen some raw lumen storm ore on the way here, right? If you need to, come look for me and I'll help you polish them up. They're actually pretty good as adjuvants down in this place. Adjuvants, right? Is that what you call a lantern? They seem to have the power to restrain the encroachment of that black mud-like substance. Almost as if they were born to be enemies. The principle of how that works escapes me, though. What can I say? I'm just not all that learned outside of my, my profession. But once you see that thing, I think you'll understand. Talking about the iron snake. Sorry, didn't mean to be in a cutscene. You're okay. It's just funny. Craft? Craft what? Oh. Sure, 
arrow, press that. Nice. Alright! New toys for the boys! A bard? Talisman. This doesn't make sense. How oh, weird. It should be around here. Why can't I find it? What happened? My ring! It's gone. It means a lot to me. Let's find it. What does it look like? It is made of brass and is inlaid with a beautiful red gem. I found it by a lava lake where the Shadow Dragon Durin fell into the legends. Or at least this should explain why its luster resembles dark flames. Whoa. It is said that the Lord of the Abyss will fix its malefic gaze upon the ring bearer and send an army of darkness to hunt them down. Uh, are we talking Lord of the Rings here? Oh. Um. Dragon Spine doesn't have a lava lake. Um, my bad. As a poet, I have a propensity for dramatic language and novel tales. Truth be told, I found the ring in a weasel thief's nest. It was well preserved and eye pleasing, so I kept it. So you're a thief too. You just stole from thieves. Don't say that. I chanced upon it. That's right, it was chance. And though chance it be, the ring is quite precious to me all the same. Be precious. Do you have any clue concerning the ring's whereabouts? Yeah, I've heard that weasel thieves are often spotted around here. They might have stolen my ring while I was sleeping. Huh, so there really are people who take their rings off before going to bed. Never heard of such people before either. Anyway, Parmon doesn't have that habit. You need to think about where to put the ring once you take it off, or you'll be wasting good beauty sleep. Do they even make rings tiny enough for you, Paimon? They're like nose rings. Nose rings the size... Like, the size of nose rings now were probably like arm bracelets for you. Of course they do. There's much you still don't know. Enough. Please refrain from judging other people's way of living before proceeding to ramble on about your own. Very rude. Anyway, if you want to help out, please keep an eye out for weasel thief nests. I've heard that there's a camp of suspicious treasure hoarders around here on the map. I'll mark the location out for you. It is said that weasel thieves are often spotted around here. Those sneaky treasure hoarders... Treasure? Treasure hoarders probably have something to do with them. They're like their pets. Or pet weasels. Pet rats. Anyway, please take a look there. Ring stolen from the weasel thieves, which was then stolen again by other weasel thieves. I'm gonna say he was gone back to his rightful owner. <laughs> oh, come on. Just stop it already. Hmm. Quest goal is in leeway. Head there to... Oh. No, thank you. I'm good. We gotta stay down here, I guess. Um, What else do we need to do? Did we complete the chest that... We did! Okay, cool. So... Don't now, underestimate the beetle. They can be some of so the now toughest I can do little the guys around. Trail. Yes, you can. Yes, Complete you the can. heavenly stone know what's on this beetle's diet? Oh, crap. Sweat and tears, that's what! That's how it gets oh, this stronger! One? I think we can all learn something from that. Alright. <laughs> Down below we go! Ah. Fall on our ass. Freaking break our ass cheeks. Okay, here we go. This is the first one. Water filtration device. Is it this big thing? Yes. So, what do we do? Oh, crap. That hurt.
Seriously, who would hide a key here? Security key number one. Can't catch me. Want a taste of my hammer? Wheel of life. Uh, time for takeoff. <laughs> So we gotta go down below. Uh, uh, <laughs> we and stuff. Yes, it's in here. Little shit. Little asshole. A thieving little. Ah, uh, fly. to hide a key. I didn't think of hiding a key there, though. We'll open the door to the gunpowder storehouse. More of these mushrooms. And more mushrooms. Faster? Okay, faster. Oh, I'm on a roll. Froggy, Frog, come back here. It's a strange weathered tree. Looks like the ancient weathered tree from Dragon Spine. What the hell is it doing here? It got thrown. Whoa! Atta boy! It's showtime! Let's roll! Yahoo! Can't, I 
can't go through. What is this? <laughs> Bam! L1 circle? It doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't work. We'll come back to this. Let's go open up the uh, the storage. Can't room. catch me. Bring the cannonball back to the camp. Oh, okay. We did what we needed to do. Let's get out of here. This place sucks. We'll put a lot of purple stuff on the ground. It's like somebody spilled a whole lot of ink from ballpoint pens. Very much of it's coming through. <laughs> this is so long winded. Catch me. Come on, get on home, little guy. Is that all you got? The hell? You almost killed me. Of course they put it on a freaking... Purple sludge stuff. You're good. <laughs> you almost killed me. <laughs> Jeez, what the hell, man? 
What do we have to go all through? Oh my goodness. We could just spawn at the freaking teleport crystal. <sighs> what the hell? That was, uh, that was painful. Painful to watch. Alright, buddy. We found the cannonballs. They're in perfect shape. How do the fuses look? Not great. They can't be used anymore. Uh, why? The fuses in here have all been designed such that they are activated by catalytic reaction with Geo, but the anomalies down here in the mines must have affected them. The geocatalytic elements within the fuses have all turned into the strange inert blue crystal, so they're all useless. Well, that's not good. I'm prepared for such strange goings on. Well, there were definitely some words in there that Paimon didn't get at all. So what happens to the cannonballs without the fuses? Uh, that's not a very bright question. Huh? What was that again? Paimon couldn't hear you. Nothing, nothing. I'm just saying that without their fuses, none of these cannonballs would explode, even if you kick them around like a ball. Because, uh, well, the fuse is what makes explosive material explode, you know? The fuse reacts with Geo, and then with the contents of the cannonball, and then... And then boom, right? Yes, boom. But without their fuses, these cannonballs won't explode at all. It's just going to be tough. It's just actual cannonballs. Aren't geo reactions themselves inert? Aye, that's basic alchemical knowledge that is. However, the potential energy within elements can be quite hard to estimate. For example, if you were to pressurize geo elemental particles such that they would be densely packed inside a small vessel, an elemental reaction would generate significant explosive force all the same. Huh. That's probably one of the curious abilities used by people with geo visions. And what do they had all the geo elements they use? The principles work differently for elemental users. It's a completely separate matter to how the miners of Liwe made ad hoc pieces. You know, how does a treasure hoarder from Masa like you know all this stuff better than people from Liwe? I wanna guess? Can we hit this guy already? So is there any way to switch the fuses? Well, if you trust me, I could make a simple fuse here at the crafting bench. Uh, you know what? It's not that we don't trust you, but you're a treasure hoarder, and you're not a mine miner either. Who's to say you won't blow us all sky high? And if Paimon does trust you, it's not like Traveler would. The job's all yours. Didn't Zichong say? All right, all right. Stop explain. Stop explaining already. What's Paimon gonna do with? about you. I doubt he'd risk blowing himself sky high as well. If you ask Paimon, this is how all the bad guys in stories would want to go. But since you say so, Paimon, we'll listen to what he has to say. Alright, Kotofo, go ahead. It's not that hard, actually. It's just that there's some minute risk involved in case you're worried. You just need to get one vial of unmoving essential oil with double the usual density. Is that some kind of potion? Exactly. As I said earlier, a double density potion can also serve to catalyze an elemental explosion. I used this principle to collapse in tunnels during my time with the treasure. Oh, sorry, never mind that I said that. It's fine. We don't really care about your hoarder days. If I might ask, damn, freaking Paimon being a savage, if I might ask, how minute is this risk? Well, if an accidental explosion occurs, which it might, considering the unstable nature of concentrated essential oils, the explosion shouldn't be able to drastically alter any geological formations. Oh, that's a pretty small explosion then. That's fine, Palma's not too worried. That said, any organic matter within the explosion radius might experience disintegration, breakage, leakage, separation, and uh, it's going to be a mess. I'm on it and get it, but it sure sounds scary. Keydive Key Dive has sent up a crafting bench at the camp, but we can first attempt to follow the formula to make the essential oils here. If you don't have enough materials on hand, you can find some other way to get the essential oil we need, and we'll continue from there. Uh, please keep the formula with you. Just follow it, and we'll be fine. 
In any case, please be careful when walking around with said oil. Shake it too much or drop it accidentally, and there might be an explosive accident. Alright, alright, stop trying to scare us already. Learn how to craft special unmoving something something. Craft. Where's this at? Oh. Is that all we need? Just one? Oh, three. Alright. Give this special and moving essential oils a Glitofo. How did it go? Did you finish making the unmoving essential oil? We got it, and we took good care of it too. Here it is. Cannot submit item in co-op mode. Oh. Alright, oh, yeah, that's fine. Because uh, we're about to the end of the stream here. It's uh, it's kind of late, but uh, I want to thank everyone uh, for coming by to watch the stream. Um, I want to thank Rope Prop once again for the follow on Twitch. If it isn't for you guys, we wouldn't. I wouldn't be here, you know, making content. But I'm here nonetheless to uh, to stream for you guys. And if it wasn't for you guys, though, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be growing. I would be stagnant. Thanks again to Jay for joining us in the co-op and helping me fight the. Uh, the the steelix looking boss whatever it's called Hold on. where was it right here oops the ruin serpent i don't know i i kind of like the uh those those dogs. I prefer those dogs. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna say I prefer the dogs. Uh, screw those dogs. That dog applies rust and it drains health. So, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna take those words back. Anyways, once again, I wanna thank you all for watching. I'm gonna be ending the stream here. Uh, we're gonna continue with, with the Chasm quest tomorrow. Um, and we're gonna... We're gonna do more of the uh, the drumming thing, the drumming event, because uh, more characters, more songs will be available for us to play, uh, or attempt to play. Um, yeah, so um, there might be a Phasmophobia Best stream flavor in the world. The sweet, later sweet this taste week. of victory. Maybe in the weekend. And that's why I've never spent a single more on um, any of my snacks. I've won them all fair and square. Oh, I want to give a <laughs> uh, right. shout out to Xander. Uh, he's in the YouTube chat right now. Xander's Gaming Corner. I want you guys all to uh, uh, check him out. He's got a. He's personally made an AI that. Helps him with uh, that helps him in Phasmophobia. It's a game on PC um, that me, Michael, and Humberto uh, love to play and love to stream a lot. Um, yeah, check him out. He's he's got great content. Uh, Don't underestimate the AI the itself is really it is really the cool. Little guys around. Yes, um, you can. Yes, you can. Want to know what's on this beetle's diet? Sweat and tears. So, that's yeah, what. Uh, that's how it gets if you stronger. Could, please help him I out. We can all learn something from that. I give him a shout out on the stream since he popped up. Um, I know. I believe he's watching in the stream as well. But uh, yeah. So I'm glad to be streaming Genshin Impact again. It has been a while, and I've got a lot of stories archon quests and stuff to do is uh um to keep me busy best flavor uh, in the not world. entirely the sure sweet, if i should buy the battle pass though victory. but and that's know. why i've never spent a single we'll just continue doing snacks. quests and such all, to and make some more <laughs> or right. save up more prima gems for ito's banner um yeah so that's it guys I'll leave it off here. 
Um, I kept you guys for way too long. I streamed for almost two and a half uh, hours. But I appreciate y'all for watching wherever you are um, on this planet, watching the stream. Good night or good morning, wherever you are on this planet, watching the stream. And I uh, hope that you guys make it a great Wednesday. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow morning. Um, expect, expect it around 3.30. 4.30 kind of uh, stream because um, I have stuff to do once I get home and there's going to be Don't underestimate about an the hour beetle. hour and a half delay toughest little guys around. For, uh, for the next stream but you want to know what's if on you this like the stream Sweat and tears, hit that's that what? thumbs up button that's how it gets stronger. hit the thumbs we can down all learn something from that. Um, I'd appreciate the subs as well on uh, YouTube and the followers on the follows on Twitch uh, hit that notification bell so you get a heads up of when I go live or when I post a video. And um, this has been Blue Oni, and I'll see you guys Arataki on the next stream. Numero uno ito here in the flesh. <laughs> see you guys next time. <laughs>